Why? Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbot333 and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Thousand Week Reich. And the last time we were here together, we hopped in as a nation of Norway. Um, we kicked off the uh, Nazi uh, control over our country, kicked out the Germans and reestablished a free and fair democratic system. Now that was a pretty uh, short campaign. There wasn't really too much to it, content-wise. And so I wanted to hop in and do a country that also doesn't have much content to it. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be hopping, hopping in as a French government in exile today. <clears throat> when the Germans walked into Paris, their lapdogs and Vichy begged at their table like the, the curs were that they were. France was humbled, its back bent in submission, but not the free French. From the enclaves of equatorial Africa, we continue our very existence as a statement of spite against tr the treasonous regime reigning from Paris that they stole from us. Perhaps those who do not understand the intricacies of our governance say that we are per uh, repressive and undemocratic, that our massive colonial military will be useless at beating back the fascists and only does well against peaceful protesters. We will hear nothing of such lies. As long as a flag flies above Brazzaville, the hearts of our people shall forever be French, and we will not have it any other way. Well, there we go. So we start off in a a pretty rough situation. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully we can go ahead and uh, get our way out of it. So we can go ahead. I don't think there's anything we want to do with uh, custom game rules. Um, is there? think so. Um, German Civil War. We'll guarantee it to happen. And, yeah, we'll just take it from there. Anyway, hope y'all are doing well today on this lovely... When am I going to upload this? Probably Tuesday. Hope you're doing well on slowly Tuesday, or whatever day you're watching this on. Um, wait for this game to load in before we can get into it. Sudanese Socialist Republic. Uh, if I'm mistaken, that's not... I thought this was Sudan. Maybe I'm missing something. I might be related to some other geographic thing in Africa. I do not know. I'll fully admit that. I just noticed that over here. Anyhow. Um... Yeah, it's the first series I'm recording after I finish up the the TNO series that I think is still uploading. It's only going to upload for a few more parts. Like, two more parts. Um, at least while I'm recording this. Um, so, I don't know. It's nice to have that over with. When did they split Iran into two? I'm, I'm guessing that's in the new update. They have a north and a south Iran. <clears throat> Damn. East and a West Turkmenistan. Look at that. <clears throat> the French government in exile in former French West Africa is an odd government. The fall of France, Nazi Germany in 1940, and the creation of a puppet government in Vichy, Charles de Gaulle, who escaped, has had escaped to Britain, called for the continued resistance across France and its colonies against the new government and its German overlords. However, uh, the exit of Britain from the war following the Anglo-German armistice seemed to end any hope of reclaiming their mainland, as even most hardline of the Free French saw their position as virtually hopeless. Following the armistice, Britain helped Free, France for Free French forces regain control over the slice of Africa that was still under their control, denying Petain's government control of these regions. Free France, despite being aligned with the British Empire and Toronto Accord, is not recognized as the legitimate government of France, nor is it part of the alliance. While Free France may be a rump state living on borrowed time, it still has resources of a British and developed intelligence network inside metropolitan France. Meanwhile, African leaders increasingly call for greater autonomy, majority rule, and even independence. One thing is certain, the fate of French Africa must involve radical change or certain collapse. Welcome to the jungle. All right, so I believe we got that's all the troops we have, which is six, which is a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. But we'll get uh, Marie Pierre Koenig. 
and generals who do we want a right wing line guy interesting um we'll go Pierre Garbet oh no actually a uh, Diego Brosse because he has an infantry leader and that's probably going to be our best bet these are definitely infantry right yeah they are just wanted to make sure anyhow uh, we'll send these guys on the border between uh, modern day Chad and Niger And yeah, I think that's a pretty good start. Um, we gotta check out all our stuff first. So we were led by uh, the Comité National Français. Uh, by the way, this is my obligatory apology to any French speakers. I barely speak English sometimes, so I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna get these French pronunciations right, but I'm trying. And I, I do apologize if I butcher your beautiful language. So. Our ideology is Gaullism, which is a uniquely French political ideology formed by longtime overseas anti Vichy leader General Charles de Gaulle. This ruling philosophy began to take shape after Free France's rule solidified in the resistance stronghold of French Equatorial Africa and is seen as a mode of French pragmatism. Therefore, Gaullism is characteristic reigning from paternalistic conservatism to liberalism. Coinciding with its pragmatic position, Gaullism also seeks to maintain French Republican traditions, placing a strong emphasis on the affirmation of French national sovereignty and unity. Let's check out the man himself, Charles de Gaulle. Charles André Joseph Marie de Gaulle, or simply Charles de Gaulle, is a man of determination for the survival of the French Republic. Born on November 22, 1890, in Lille, to a devoutly Catholic family, a father was a history professor. De Gaulle would serve in the Great War, where he would be wounded in action, later on become a POW during the Battle of Verdun. In between the Great War and the European Wars, de Gaulle would rise through the ranks and fell under the mentorship of France's then national hero, Marshal Philippe Pétain. De Gaulle would become an advocate for the modernization of the French military and the creation of a mechanized army. However, his life would change with the onset of the European wars. He fled from his homeland to London once France fell to the shocking Wehrmacht invasion. He swore to never bend the knee to German collaboration like the rest of his countrymen did, and instead chose to fight on for France that was swiftly changing. Charles de Gaulle declared himself the de facto head of the French Republican exile, were known as Free France. He is taking refuge in Brazzaville thanks to his supporters violently overthrowing the colonial government in French Equatorial Africa. Now in a foreign land, a land where the natives grow tired and restless of the burden of their colonial overlords. But Charles de Gaulle is determined to return back and restore the France he holds dearly, no matter the cost. So we got a couple little statuses here. First we have a minority state which just gives us nothing nice at all, really. The French government in Equatorial Africa is built on colonial oppression, while the white French minority dominate over the African majority. While this is an unsustainable situation, some democratic reforms have been passed, and hopefully one day the goal of appeasing radical tensions within free French territories can be accomplished. Next up, we have an unrecognized government. Technically, most countries still recognize the German-sponsored French state as a legitimate France. Despite this, the French government in Equatorial Africa does have a very close relationship with Toronto core nations. Until the French state can be toppled, it will be difficult for the world to recognize Free France as the legitimate government of France. Next up, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. Have a little uh, circle of the French colors next to a uh, an IRA member. It appears. Uh, united by the continuing spirit of the French Republic, the morale of Free French soldiers remains high in comparison to the French state armed forces. While times have been tough and the situation has stagnated for years, the recent events that have badly damaged the French state have given our people a renewed sense of hope, a renewed boost in morale. The French state is on its last legs, and free France shall be victorious. Next up, we have the effects of the Brazzaville Declaration. Unlike Belgium, the French government exile has done a rather admirable job in reconciling the with the local native peoples of her colonies. Gov following the Brazzaville Declaration, the French government has enacted many reforms to placate the natives, such as granting more authority to local body, political bodies, an end to most unequal practices in public affairs, and significant restraint demonstrated by the military when handling unrest. Thus, most local political figures are still contented with the free French arrangements. Although several promises laid by the Brazzaville Declaration have not yet been fully realized, such as the total equality of European French and natives of the colonial holdings. 
Regardless, uh, the locals are expecting that their brotherly loyalty with the Free French will be handsomely compensated after the liberation. We have a, a, a cord spear trading modifier. So we have a, for guys. We have a Jacques Sustel, Rene Massigli, and Rene Plevin. Very nice. We'll have uh, these guys down here. Not bad, actually. Especially for what we might end up doing. Um, okay. So we already have a couple focuses uh, finished up at the start. So, of course, we have a decade and counting. It's been almost a decade since the Republic was defeated. Stabbed in the back by opportunists and cowards, her ideals rotting as a metropole strangled by fascists. The patriots, those who would not stand the Nazi puppet government, scattered across the Western world. Some remained in the mainland, fighting as courageously as in day one. Some went to Britain or America. And then there's us, who continue their allegiance to the Republic and maintain her institutions alive in Africa. Sadly, these idealistic dreams of liberty are not enough to please the majority of the French army, or the locals, for that matter. Everyone's patience is growing thinner by the day. We have to show signs of progress in our goals of liberating France to keep potential unrest at bay. Next, we also have contacts with the uh, French armed forces. Not all the French army retreated to Africa after the public's defeat. Some remain in the metropole either fighting guerrilla-style warfare, war, or joining the fascist Vichy army at the time, but all the time working for liberation. We'll attempt to establish communications with these anti-fascist elements inside of the army and society of the French state. Securing contacts with mainland resistance is necessary to weaken the fascists from the inside. So we got to figure it out. Next, we have the second phase of the Abui strategy. The Ebowe strategy is a simple sounding yet complex operation, weakening the Vichy regime's authority over the remaining outer seas territories by unleashing local anti fascist nationalist elements. This would progressively weaken the state of the metropole, too, as their incompetence to deal with the situation would generate unrest on a national level, crippling their ability to fight. I don't dislike that idea. Um. So this gives us a thing for a uh, focus for the struggle of metropolitan France. Um, oh god, we have no building slots. Well, we have some building slots, but the rest is... Um, let's get some of that going. Um, research. We don't even have better rifles, my god. Excuse me, mon dieu. I gotta get in the spirit of things, of course. Um... Give you, give you, we can't do it. We can't give you anything yet. Silly me, I forgot. Um, how's GP work? It's civilian military factors and resources. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to play then. China leaves northern Vietnam. Interesting. Alright, so the goal of this series is obviously to take back the mainland. Not 100% of the political alignment from there. Oh, look at that. Um, get some, uh, some funniness going on. Well, we also have uh, India going after uh, Pakistan. We'll start slightly on fire. As it does. Interesting. Alright, so we got that done. Um, so we can't really do anything there quite yet. 
Um, let's start with our War of Liberation. France shall be liberated inch by inch if necessary. La Liberation starts in the Outer Seas territories, where Vigi authority is the weakest. From there, every territory outside the metropole will be regained. Fun will serve the reconquest of France. Every bit of land, every metal, every meter regained from the fascists, we will call a victory. Well, there we go. Well, that's interesting. They own, um... The French state owns this little bit. Did not know that. I, don't, I know it now, but I didn't know that before. Um, we gotta get some stuff building. We'll do rifles. Germany has the A-bomb. Moroccan conflict. So some uh, conflict in Mongolia. Um, get some more tech going. Get our get us up. we need to get up to the new gen of rifles as soon as we can. All right, so the battle for France begins. We'll request. Well, we need U.S. support. Most crucially, I think. There we go. The United States of America will send military support to, to us to aid in our efforts to liberate the homeland from the traitors. Onwards to victory. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and go on with the liberation of the uh, Kugelin Islands. The Kugelin Islands are... Well, they're a part of France, aren't they? They're not very useful, but they deserve to be liberated. Much like the Republic did in the past, the Vichy regime kept a small yearly contingent of scientists and soldiers stationed on the island. Our vessels will besiege Port au Francais and demand the surrender of all personnel. So that is... I think that's the one... Yep, the one all the way down here. Making some big moves there. We already have Reunion. Which is odd that we don't have the French state. So I, I feel like this one would be more likely for us to have. I mean, the French has a Comoros, which is a little we even weirder, in my opinion. They have two of the three major island areas. Test the A-bomb. The state's pretty, doing pretty well in Morocco. Well, there we go. Our task force has successfully landed on the Kerguelen Islands, taking control of the main settlement of Port au Francais. The settlement of 45 greeted the free French with bewilderment, but soon went back to their occupations. The French state as well as the greater German Reich has condemned the move as irresponsible and a blatant violation of France's sovereignty. Vive la France! Alright, so that's a whole... Would you look at that? 96 people that we otherwise wouldn't have. Now we can only draft, let's see, what's our manpower at? 1.5%. So we can draft about one and a half people from that island. But that's one and a half people that will help us in the process for La Liberation. So I'm going to go with it, you know? Um, let's do the propaganda offensive next. The war of hearts and minds is as important as a war of guns and tanks. A cynical population will not fight as courageously as an inspired one. On the radios and every newspaper and every wall we can plaster a poster into. The wars of la liberation shall appear. So we can request some more support from the SIS. Or more soldiers. More soldiers I think might be a good idea. And then we can try to assassinate Laval. And if I'm not mistaken, if that happens, we should be able to, uh, oh. That'll kick things off. So we have a few focuses we need to do. It's gonna depend on the, the uh, kindness of RNGesus. Jesus. So we'll probably have to save, reload, so on and so forth. But I think once we get that kicked off, Norwegian Revolution, look at that. 
Looks like they watched my uh, my my, uh, my last series and they wanted to be uh, they were inspired by that. I will take credit for that. Totally. I got competing machines going. Um, you want improved ones? Or should we go for something else? Um, well, this is all gonna take a long time. Let's get improved computing machines. These will finish up at around the same time. Okay, so I couldn't send volunteers if I wanted to. Oh no. Not the special military operation. I didn't even realize that was an option, Jesus. So we looked out in the last series. Let's, uh, set, let's do uh, sending Atai. The Guinea is, like all of our occupied outer seas territories, squashed in submission by the Vichy military garrisons. Despite that, it is a borderline lawless region. The fascists have little authority outside the major coastal cities. We'll send Justin Katai, a known Guinean war hero and fellow patriot. Once he's sent over, it will easy, be easy for our forces in Guinea to topple the occupying armies. Yep, uh, okay, well, they got, um, Nordstern taken. So, I believe Norway. Hang tight, my Norwegian brothers. Lane emergency. Um. Yeah, we can't do this now. So I feel like, well, we could do this. I'll give some more political power, but we might be able to just uh, do something else. I would say the special military operation is a little unimpressive. So long rest in Bulgaria. Okay. I thought they were just joining the faction right off the bat, but no. Um, it's just them against Norway. Still, that material aid is going to be huge, I think. Um, I'm going to save real quick, because from my understanding, we might need to do a little autosave. Um, since they're occupied, I think now is going to be a good time to try... And assassinate Laval. We'll see if anything happens. Nothing happened. Okay. Well, we'll have to I'll reload our save there. We might want to wait till that focus finishes anyway. I, I now realize. Isn't that right, lady? Yeah, she knows what I'm talking about. Um, meanwhile, we could do an offensive line. Get ready to do an offensive line into these guys. State. Right, we can start doing this one. Um, might not have been bypassed, but strengthen the CNF. Over the years, National French Committee has grown to buy a losing steam as the dream of liberating the metropole becomes more and more distant. Nowadays, said dream is becoming a reality. We're making several moves towards driving the fascists out of our home. We need to secure the grip of Gaulists over the committee to maintain a stable leadership. Factionals are not going to help the cause. Wait for the auto save to go. That's that. Well, that's a Central Asian war, but I don't care about Central Asia. I care about getting into Central Europe. Give it a few days, but nothing. Oh, Guyana's just 
completely free now. Okay. Um. Having bad rolls of RNG dice right now. Um. He's still alive. Yeah, nothing's happening. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna load this one more time, uh, but we're not going to uh, really eager this point too much. I'll go ahead. We probably need a little bit more. I know we like manpower, some military support. So, we'll recruit some more soldiers, and we'll recruit SIS support as well. And look at that. The UK will send us support. Wonderful. Onwards to victory. Um. We'll get the political power after this focus finishes up to get things going. And once that is done, I will probably end the video, and then I'll keep going on and off, uh, trying to re-roll things until I get Monsieur Laval uh, off this planet. Strength of CNF. And there's the autosave. Um, so I have no more focuses we can do. But, uh, at least not right now. But, once we get the war going, we'll be able to get things uh, kicked off. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave things there. But, thanks for watching, gang. Like so if you like it, dislike it, didn't leave any comments, feedback down in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get, and I do appreciate any little feedback you might have for me. Check out my various links down in the description box below, leave all uh, any comments, feedback down in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get, and I do appreciate any little feedback you might have for me. Check out my various links down in the description box below, leave any comments, feedback. I already said that a little bit. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm a little a scatterbrained. Um, but thanks for watching, gang. My name has been Mr. Dogboat333, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.